going on everybody and welcome back uh, to the channel now today we've got some exciting news the new cricket game has been announced within the last week um, called Cricket 22. They normally release a new cricket game around every time the Ashes is played um, or every time the Ashes is played in Australia at least. Um, they brand it as an Ashes cricket game but it's pretty much just a cricket game where you can play. It's the newest, you know, obviously any format in the world against any country, every player in the world, all those kits. Everyone knows what a cricket game entails. So, you know, it's exciting we're getting a new one. Um, because I want to buy it, and then I want to play it. I used to be a big fan um, of the cricket game, Don Bradman, um, 2017, when that came out. I played the fuck out of that. So much hours put into that. I play real cricket on my phone all the time, even though it's not a massive, high-quality game, but still fun. Um, I used to play, like, Ricky Ponting and Shane Warne cricket back when I was young as. All those video games. So if you guys want to see me record some videos on this game when it comes out, definitely subscribe. Let me know. Um, but hey, we've got the man Twisty3, Australian cricketing sport YouTuber. He's going to cover all the stuff for us. Let's check it hey, out. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Cricket 22 video. Finally, we've got some gameplay, a brand new trailer here. Okay. Talking about what's new in the controls and game mechanics. I'm going to ignore Barjo's uh, sort of <laughs> voiceover as normal uh, and just go stuck? into all of the gameplay shots that we got uh, in this new trailer. We can see. Uh... Okay, let's get a look at the interface. Okay. It doesn't look too different. Um, it's better. It's definitely better than what we've had in the last few years. The 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 scorecard and that. Because sometimes, especially in Don Bradman, that's what I'm kind of basing everything off. Because um, that's the last good, really, cricket game in my eyes. You know, they've, they've had these Ashes Cricket 20 and Cricket 21 games. But they were all pretty much just the same as Don Bradman. Just cost you another $100 to upgrade to get new players. But... This looks better. The bowling looks a little bit different. The, the the map looks a bit different for for your field. It's got about three slips in here and a point. I don't know. It's a deep point. What's going on there? Some of the new controls in action that we sort of saw in the... Ooh, we know who that is. Elise Perry. <laughs> ...previous trailer where they talk about sort of the uh, the new bowling controls okay. and batting. Uh, oh! Uh, mostly new... So that's the new bowling okay. controls rather than the new batting controls. Okay. Uh, and there's also a new run out uh, feature oh, and possibly different ways uh, for catching uh, as well in the game. Uh, like at least the camera angles here. Ooh, also, the zing bales cool. didn't go off then. Where was the zing? Oh, great catch. Uh, clearly pre-release gameplay at this point, and I think it's probably in a debug mode. But uh, here's our first look at the new run out system oh, for direct nice. hits. Uh, you sort of have to pick and choose. It goes into like this little slow-mo nice. quick time event and you try and get the uh, direct hit throw. Uh, I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail in a sec on that oh, one. Oh, and that's how you catch uh, it? But nice. Yeah, a couple of little... Hey, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Whenever I play a cricket game, I do not bother fielding. Unless I'm bowling or I'm batting, I'm simulating. Because I, I normally create my player build as a an all-rounder, like a an off spin, either a leg spinner, you know, sometimes a pace bowler. But I normally go with like a, a top order, top four batsman, and I can bowl, you know, like like a like a Glenn Maxwell type. Um, you know, I can bat in that top four, um, but can also bowl, you know, as many overs as you want in any format. So I don't field. I just simulate until I'm bowling or I'm batting, to be honest. Like no one wants to sit in the field for... 80 overs on a video game in cricket when the ball never comes to you. Especially when you start your career and they sit you all the way at cow corner in a test match. The ball does not come to you. Interesting changes to the gameplay and how it works and um, very excited to really actually get into a game and play a game. Also, this screenshot came out earlier. Yeah, I did see this shit. Look at Alan DeGeneres looking... Interesting. This week, I think this might be a loading screen, but uh, oh, that was just a little minor thing that I oh, was like, shit. oh, I wonder if that's interesting. Um, if, if we get these types of things, loading screens, it looks like one. It probably isn't, um, but it could just be a graphic someone made up. Yeah. All right, uh, let's get into the new run out uh, technique today. So basically how it works, yeah. you go into this little slow-mo, you got to pick, do you want to go bowl's end, keeper's end? Bowl's end. Right here, this is a terrible run, by the way, because yeah, they barely left. Uh, their crease and the person's going to throw it at the stumps. Um, so really either end is a good choice here. Left. So you pick left bumper, right bumper, deciding on which end you want to go. And then you have to choose 
and then and then you like choose the power so you like hold down the button mm. uh and if you get the direct hit you get the run out uh yeah. pretty much like that uh also weird keeper animation still in here i'd like to see the keepers come up and collect the ball at the stumps yeah. Uh, a little bit cleaner uh, than in previous games. Yeah. Also, just wanted to point out another thing here. Again, another terrible run. You can see this guy just leaving yeah, as what? Maxwell's releasing the throw. What? Uh, bottom right-hand corner. A new little picture-in-picture. Oh, picture. about time they added something like this in. I have been sick and tired of the previous years where they have like the one white line on the bottom of the screen and then they have a stick figure, a stick figure running back and forth. Like, no. This is a proper camera. I like this. Good start. I like it. Display of the guys running between the wickets rather than that little overlay we had yeah. previously oh, uh, of the guys sort of just uh, like a 2D sort of running animation we had previously. But now we've got like a little picture in picture uh, of a different camera angle of how that works. Start. We also got some uh, big bash looks at the... Woo! They got the new BBL kits with the Nike. Nice. Uh, the Big Bash kits yeah. in Cricket 22. Uh, I'll go through these now as well. I mean, this sort of came out earlier in the week. I haven't Where's really sixes? been following. But yeah, it gives you a bit of a look of the, the some of the celebrations that you're going to see nice. uh, from wickets and things like that, as well yeah. as some of the kits, obviously, yeah. for those teams who are in the Big Bash. Uh, and we're going to finally get the Big Bash, I guess, licensed in. Uh, Ew, bro. I've seen this new Adelaide Strikers um, Guernsey. It is so bad. Cricket 22, which we want to see. Rashid Khan deserves uh, which better. Which is great news for all of those people who really wanted to play the Big Bash. Uh, both in career mode, and I guess as a standalone uh, mode competition. There's Usman, uh, Usman cool nice. are there in the, uh, the Sydney Thunder Strip. Where's the kit, sixes at? Uh, as well, which I think rounds out the kits that we've got here no. uh, for Cricket 22. Oh but let's my go back. god, they show like all the kits, but the sixes? Some of the gameplay. I mean, it looks a lot sharper. There was a nice little ramp there. Uh, I'm not too sure about the controls. I think I might stick with maybe the old ones, just because, uh, you know, you yeah. get used to them after no using them for a while. So uh, that's something that I'll probably look at yeah. when I go through the nets, skin? maybe a little bit later on in the week. Yeah. Um, there was also a little Chopped nice off. wicket animation there. Uh, that came up down the wicket. bottom. It said wicket, uh, rather than uh, it, it. Just everything looks a bit cleaner. The UI looks a bit cleaner. Yeah, that looks like in that. 60 frames, which uh, I think it was an update for Cricket Woo! 19, which brought it to 60 catch. frames like on uh, the console. Uh, but like, I'm I'm just keen. Ooh, I'm keen oh, to, to nice. actually give it a crack and like give it a that. go. And I think some yeah. of the things that with the controls, they might be a little bit um, tentative at the start. Yeah. For those who have been playing the previous games, might take a little bit of getting used to. Um, and the new run out system. I really hope that if you are playing a test match, it doesn't turn into a slow-mo uh, yeah. run every single ball. I think that can off. maybe get a little bit tedious. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I'm excited to give it a crack. Mm. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments hey. down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. No, see you next time, Mr. Twisty Man. Um, absolute legend, that man. Original link, of course, in the description to his video. I'm sure most of you know who he is, but if you don't, Subscribe to him. He's a good man. Um, firstly, the catching, the new catching animations are cool as fuck. I like those. Um, the new run out animations are cool, but no one really plays as a fielder, so that's okay. Um, unless you're a sub, then again, no one's really playing as a... The new wicked animation where it goes on and hits your stump like that, that's pretty cool. I'm keen to attack. I hope that's just the replay. Like, I hope that doesn't happen during the actual ball. That would suck. Um... You can probably turn some of this stuff off as well, like the little animations if you don't want. Like slow mo. It's Maxwell. Crowds look good. Sponsors look good. Green pitch in England, I imagine, looks decent. You know what? The new UI looks better. So, you know what? All in all, it seems like it'll be a better video game than the last one. Hopefully, um, I don't know when it's meant to release. Probably before the Ashes start. So within the next month or two, I would have thought. Um. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. It's not like I'm sponsored by them. You know, most of the people who cover this game normally are sponsored by the game or the company or they get told to say good words about it and they get sent money. Like, that's just how people work. A lot of people do shit on YouTube. You guys know with me, I'm going to be as open and relentless as possible because I just don't care. So if I think it looks shit and I think the game is absolutely horrible when it comes out, I will make sure all of you know not to buy and do not support the game because I hate that video game companies keep getting away with this shit. You know, I haven't played the game. It actually looks better than the last, but, you know, you look at all the games like FIFA, Madden, 
Um, NBA 2K, even new cricket games every year. Um, they don't change anything. It's just the same game every year with like different little color changes and stuff and updated players, and then they make you buy the same game for $100 or something like that. In Australia, most of the time, new games cost $100. Like, damn, like, really? Uh, but hey, if you guys want me to do some videos on it, I definitely will. I think I, I, think I will regardless. Um, i got to work out how that all works. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Hopefully, we get some more trailers soon. But hey, that's going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.